Today we're going to be talking about something quite important in my opinion, even crucial, that a lot of young people, especially teenagers, I think, leave out and say that they're figured out later. Let me describe it with a metaphor. Imagine this, you're stranded in some kind of a jungle or a forest and you have to get out. The thing you must know that there are tons of ways to get out. Getting out is not actually the hard part. The thing is, some of these paths lead to a good place, like, I don't know, a villa full of drinks and anything, or and some lead to a bad place, like, I don't know, quicksand, desert or something. Shit, so what now? What do you do? You don't want to die after all. Well, wouldn't it be so much easier to have a map with you? If all of those paths were labeled and you knew which path lead where, you could get to the villa so much quicker and safer and you wouldn't find yourself set, stranded in quicksand. You see where I'm heading kind of? Basically, this is life. You have tons of different pathways that lead to a million different futures. And it's so easy to get lost if you don't follow some direction. So the sooner you have a map, the sooner you'll get there where you want to be. However, as nice as it would be in life, you don't just get a map. Like, of course, society could have created one for you or your parents, but usually it's not actually, it doesn't actually lead to the place where you want to go. So it's your job to create the map. And in real life terms, this is called planning. So how to plan? First step, know your destination. If you don't know yet, it's time. It's definitely fucking time. I mean, okay, some people know what they want to do in life sooner than others, and that's completely normal. Just keep in mind that the sooner you'll know, the better. Like, maybe right now, if you don't know yet, it's time to try things out. Because one day, you might find yourself stranded on some path. If we get back to the jungle metaphor, I'll be so far down the path that turning back and changing your goals and what you want to do in life will be so goddamn difficult. So try to find out your destination as soon as possible before it's unfortunately too late. Next step, you have to know where you are. Basically, evaluating your life, your situation, knowing how far you are from goals. It can be financially, educationally, physically, mentally, socially. Basically, locating yourself in the jungle that is life. That doesn't sound awesome, but you get my point. If you know your destination and the starting point, it's time to draw the actual path. I can't be really specific here and give examples since each person has a unique path. So it's up to you to find out what it takes to get there. Like right now, take out your phone, create a new note, and write down all these steps that will take you to where you want to be. If you don't know that by now, what are you waiting for? If this is actually important to you and this is a lifelong project or anything, that is really important to you and you really want to achieve it. Why don't you know the steps? After this video, I dare you, go find out how do you become who you want to be and or how do you accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. And write it down as much in detail as possible. All the criteria for each little milestone. Remember, if you're doing this for the first time, the more information you have, the better. You'll have time to adjust it later. If you know already all the steps that have to be taken, then try and put them in a chronological order. Like actually create a timeline. The starting point will be where you are right now. The ending point will be your goals. And in between, all these steps that you have to take in order to get there. I'm not talking about creating a big poster or spending tons of time in Photoshop, creating a very beautiful timeline or anything. In your phone, you remember the note that I talked about like 30 seconds ago? <laughs> well, it's time to organize all these steps into a chronological order. There are different ways of organizing, but the method I prefer is the short-term, mid-term, and long-term. The time range of each of these sections depends on your situation. As I said, each path is very unique. For example, personally, for short-term I use two years, for mid-term I use five years, and for long-term I use 20 years. But if you can achieve your goal within three years, then definitely change that, like put short-term a couple of months, mid-term like a year, and long-term three years, you know? Definitely adjust it to your situation. By the way, know that your map, your timeline, your plan, it will change, it will definitely change. You will actually make changes to it yourself. Why? Well. 
it's flawed. Obviously, it's flawed. No plan is perfect. Some things might go wrong, or you you miss some deadlines or anything. But that's okay. Thing is, what do you do in life when you make a mistake? Or I mean, what should you do? You learn and you adapt. Same thing for the plan. If your plan fails, make it better. Change it. Adapt it. Learn from your mistakes. Your plan is supposed to be an orienteering point, like in the metaphor in the beginning, a map. So if you if you have a bad map, just draw a better one. Just keep in mind that it's okay that some things won't work out. It's normal. It's it's okay for things to go wrong. Errors are normal. Oh, one thing to know maybe this is usually used for lifelong goals because well it still requires some time investment, but I strongly, strongly recommend it using for shorter term goals that are important to you like learning a new skill or gaining that dream body that's cliche i know i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah it just really helps orienting yourself in life and in your goals because well one thing that we weren't told is that life can be confusing and quite difficult and so if there are tools like creating timelines and planning that can make life easier why not use them, you know? So yeah, to sum up, start by finding your destination. I know it's not hard, but it's really important. So the sooner you find it, the better. Then evaluate your life, find yourself, how far are you from your goals? And then draw the actual path, learn about all these steps that it takes to get to your goals and to get to your destination and organize them in a chronological timeline. This should make everything less overwhelming and you might find yourself more confident in what you're doing with your life because well you'll know if you're going in the right direction. And so yeah, one day you'll get out of the goddamn jungle. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video might help at least to some of you. If you want to talk about it, have questions or you want to discuss or you have better ideas about planning and everything well definitely hit me up on instagram or comment down below i really like the community effect it had with the first couple of videos like actually there were some discussions going on and had some really nice not debates but like yeah discussions with some of you people that you responded and it was extremely nice of you to like participate in this and yeah so by the way i have my timeline like there i don't know if you can but, uh, somewhere there okay i have posted so maybe in a future q a i could maybe show it uh -huh. what am i doing <laughs> by the way thank you a lot for all the feedback on the episode one and the intro video I wasn't expecting that, like, <laughs> holy fuck. <laughs> um, thank you, yeah, all for all the constructive criticism, all the feedback, all the things that he said that I did wrong, all the things that I did right. Um, I tried to progress, I tried to improve. That's why I'm filming this only after, like, a couple days after these videos were released. So, yeah, um, I hope you might see some progress, maybe. If not, when they'll hit me up again. <laughs> you know, I'm really, yeah, I'm trying to improve, so, yeah. But thank you for, for feedback, yeah. So, yeah, um, that's it. Have a nice day, bitches. And, oh, no, 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 yeah. Um, do the research on how to achieve your goals. You know the thing I said that gathering, gathering all the information on how do you become what you want to be or how do you do... It's been a long day. No, I was talking about all the, um, the part where I said like gathering information about how do you become who you want to be and how do you achieve your goals, that part, like the research part, do that now. Actually, like if you have like at least a little bit of motivation right now, try to use it as a spark, as like fuel for, yeah, for making your life easier actually. So, so yeah, go do that. Bye. Okay.